This is a revolution. I am the demo god. <laughs> All the leaders. Wonderful. John Silver fucked this up. A paradigm shift. You wanna kick? You wanna kick my friend in his dick? It's the FTW World Championship. Bubbly. All right, Kenny's gotta be cool, right? And welcome to another episode of the All Elite Hour, brought to you by the AEW All Elite Wrestling Discussion Facebook group. Uh, this is probably going to be an abbreviated episode, but we're still going to talk about everything All Elite. Um, on this show, it's going to be myself. Uh, we got Kyle here. Uh, how are you, Kyle? Doing great. Just had some breakfast. You had some flapjacks, right? Yep, I did. I did indeed. Yeah, I don't know how you knew that, but... I don't know either. It was I took a wild stab, and apparently I was right. Huh? Yep. <laughs> Uh, and we also have Manifest Destiny, uh, a.k.a. MJ. But if you're watching this on uh, on YouTube, you can see that uh, his name is Manifest Destiny. Um, why is your name Manifest Destiny? It's the new wave. Okay, did you officially change it, or is this just like a moniker? Or is this yeah. Like... Yeah, I, I, yeah. So this is like when Chris Canyon changed into Mortis, kind of. Like you're sort of... Wasn't like... the other way around? Hmm. Wasn't he, well, he was Mortis, Mortis first? first? Yeah, he was Mortis first. Are you hmm. sure about that? We'll have to consult yeah, the books for that one. He might be right, yeah. But uh, let's get into it anyway. Uh, although I do want to talk about Mortis one day. That sounds like fun. Um, but cool. Yeah, that would be cool, right? Let's talk about uh, let's talk about Miro, new TNT champion. Um, and this match, it, it was booked a little strange, I'll say. Uh, well, with obviously, it, it originally it, wasn't supposed to be that. What do you uh, mean? It, I can the, tell. the original plan was it was supposed to be a squash. Miro was supposed to squash Darby, uh, but okay. OC got hurt in his pop match, and because they were supposed to go to a twenty minute time limit draw, but though right. since that happened, they had to change everything, so they just gave the extra oh, so time. They added the beat down, or yeah. you think the beat down was that included? You think originally, or you think they added that to kind no, of no? Uh, the they wouldn't be supposed to have like an actual match match. Miro was just supposed, was just to, supposed to be squash the shit out of them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, MJ. I know you said you had something to. Uh, I don't know when I brought it up. You so, so grinning. is that why? Is that why Sting was just sitting there and standing, just looking? Right. I, probably. Because why probably. would he try to defend Darby? Right. But yeah. still, eight minute beat down before the match, and Sting's just like, yep, yep. That's cool. He at least pointed his bat at him. Yeah. He didn't know that intimidate. What do you mean? I thought he didn't have his bat with him. Oh, he didn't have his bat. Yeah, he didn't have his bat. Wait, that's Which, the problem. That's why, why did he, he bring his bat? He's right. exactly. You're did facing Miro. I don't even think it snowed either. It didn't, it didn't fucking snow. So that's. Why I didn't. I didn't even know Sting was going to be on the program. Yeah, no. the climate. I mean, it's Sting. You know, he's going to be on there. Well, that's true. Oh, uh, oh, uh, what was it? Oh, uh, uh, that one moment was was very was very poetic. Poet, uh, was very poetic though. Where Darby is reaching out for Sting, it was cool. I mean, yeah. it, it definitely had its moments. Yeah. I, mean, I gotta say though, a lot of people were hating on the booking of it uh, with Miro beating him down in the beginning. I actually didn't didn't uh, hate I, it. I liked it, yeah. Because it I mean, the one thing I minded was Sting. Right. Well, yeah, Sting not defending him was kind of that was kind of odd, but it kind of yeah. protects protects Darby, right? It makes Miro look like a monster. It does. It protects Darby a little bit because he lost the match because he was beat down before it, right? That yeah. that gives the advantage to Miro. But he way. still gave a hell of a fight and. Exactly. So I, I, I thought I, he may one. I thought, oh well, he may retain here. Right. <laughs> um, but then that that kind of begs the question too, and a lot of people have been kind of I don't know criticizing it. So I want to get your guys' opinion. Uh, MJ, what do you think about Darby's title run so far? I mean, poor. Do you, do you think it was success? Okay, it was it was poor, huh? Mm. Oh, four. Four. Four what? matches. Oh, four matches. I think you said like four stars out of uh, I don't know four. So four, huh? Okay. Uh, what about you, Kyle? How do you think about? Do you think Darby's TNT run was successful in any way? I, I thought he was a really good TNT champion, honestly. Well, we had to wait two months before he even defended it. Yeah, but, I mean that's not his fault. But, and one of the matches were a tag team match that didn't even involve the championship. Yeah, but mm. still, uh, four I, matches. I thought he did great. Uh, he put on some hell of a ma hell of matches and main evented most of them. And, and, I'll say, I'll say the, the only issue I have, and, and once again, this is like the fifth, sixth, seventh week in a row. 
for some fucking reason, Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page got involved. <laughs> and, and then on top of that, they even had Archer come out and yep. uh, I was like, oh, of course, of course you got to get everybody involved somehow. Yep. Like, why, do they, why do they all three have to be involved? I don't understand. And why does Archer have to pick a new person next week and not even face him? Yep. Oh, what are you talking about, Miro? It was, no, it was... It was Sting first. Yeah. Then it was Darby. Then it was <laughs> then it was Ethan and Scorpio. Then it was back to Sting, and now it's Miro. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for Archer to come out and just turn around and look at Jake, Jake the Snake and be like, "You're next." <laughs> I mean, really, Miro just won the championship. This is the wrong time for Archer to be coming out. Yeah, but but also, go when are we going to do this? We're going to do it at Double or Nothing, or that sound that seems so when? soon. And if it do, dude, it doesn't make any sense. They both have the same stature of what they're supposed to be in this company and you're already pitting them together Miro just won the fucking title from a little dude not sorry to say it like that but then you're gonna have he Archer come out a little now dude. listen listen now you're gonna have dude. Archer come out that's supposed to be fighting Sting and Ethan and Paige but he's going after Miro now but mm. but I guess Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky are gonna face Darby and Sting yeah is, is that which a brings me to an, did they uh did well, they announce that officially yet they haven't announced it officially but if you look on the poster that's what it looks like yeah yeah. Brings me to my other thing. This is what pisses me off more, that Darby has to lose his title because of this weak tag team match that's about to happen. Yeah. But all, I guess they wanted to put the title on, on Miro. And what happened with Scorpio winning the Face the Revolution? Like, right. isn't that supposed to be a singles run? And He he was supposed to break away from, Scorp from SCU to do a singles run, only to form another tag team? Well, the only thing I can think of is that he's going to turn on Ethan, maybe, at one point. And that Maybe. furthers his little heel. But still, we, but, I got to say this too. Scorpio sucks at heel promos. He sucks. I cannot take him seriously. It's, it just feels like he's auditioning for something. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. What were you going to say, Kyle? It would sound like I, said, I, I was hoping they'd do more with uh, event, when do, when doing Darby and, and, and Ethan Page because they have a lot of history. Darby and Ethan? Uh, what, from... Not evolved. Evolved, no, yeah. Was it evolved? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had some. They had a great set of matches that oh. eventually ended with uh, Ethan putting Darby in a body bag. And didn't he legitimately break his nose or something? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Like the, on, his he, arm. He, sorry, it was his arm. Shoulder. Yeah. Shoulder. It, That's yeah, because Ethan mentioned it. He, he's like, oh, you, he, he's like, why don't you tell the people the real reason why you paint your face, and it's because of, right. uh, of something I, I did to it. Uh, yeah, man, I don't know the whole thing. Th this whole web of I, I think Ethan Page has been confusing. really misused since he came in. I and you know what even makes it more lackluster is that they put this kind of junk at the main event. Yeah. Nah. How come well, how come Good Brothers and Kenny are not in the, you know in that main event spot? I mean, I understand. Yeah, you're probably trying to. It's very WWE ish. No, well, I, I disagree. TNT title match, it's a title match it should be no. final. It, be no, I mean. How can uh, I put this? Maybe. What do you mean last segment? Are you talking about having uh, the... Yeah, having people come out. I feel like that should be saved for a main event picture. Because those are people that actually... I can't say this in the right way. That people actually want to see in the main event. Hmm. You know what I mean? It's You I know, mean, it is kind of yeah, hard. The, the names, right. It's kind of hard having your TNT title be the main event of your show. And then you have a main event title that's for your company. That's but what's that, getting... That's that getting a... Are you talking about what? the? Uh, are you talking about the Pac match? The no, I'm just talking saying. About? I'm talking about the TNT title match. Okay. I just feel like maybe the tag title should have went over on it. I don't know. That's yeah. just me. That's just me. I don't know. No, I, I kind of like that they put the TNT title because it's supposed to be like the big one on TNT. Because I'll tell you that ta that tag title. match was the best match on the card. Well, yeah, oh, best yeah. match 100%. on the card. It absolutely was. Hey, let me ask you, uh, MJ. Do you think that? Before we discuss it, do you think that botch the Christopher Daniels one was uh, on purpose, or do you think he? Actually, uh, I think commentary botched. saved him. Commentary saved his ass. I, I, I don't know. I, I kind of think it was storytelling because he. Was, I think he actually botched it. Kyle. I think he actually botched it too, but it made sense. He, he may have, but I mean, it makes sense story wise that right. he was covered plus, in blood yeah. and, and leaking blood out, and right. so he was woozy. And plus, I think that's why he botched. He had blood in his eye. I think that's why, because mm. if you can see it. Yeah, it was his left side, and then yeah. He had blood everywhere. I mean, that guy. Dude, was that motherfucker was bleeding. bleeding like that. Well, <laughs> you guys couldn't tell when he bladed, right? I did. I I, I saw it when he did. I don't think he bladed. Uh, he did. Did you not see? He that? did, Kyle. You not see he the did. picture he posted? But still, I'm telling you, man, he bladed. I saw it. As soon as he hit, as soon as he uh, 
Ooh. Ooh. Soon as he hit that like little corner post, I could see he went he went down and went like this. I don't know. Maybe. The picture he posted says otherwise. I don't know. Those corner posts, those are some lethal square corner yeah, posts. Because like, you don't see all the stitches he had. Which picture are you talking about, Kyle? Is it just a picture of him with stitches and shit? Yeah, he's got uh, stitches. But he also has like a, a big bruise on his uh, uh, on his eye and stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I thought the match was it was probably actually the, the match of the night, right? Well, let's talk about the big thing: how they disrespected the post match. I didn't even notice that until you guys brought it up. Okay, so you see Kazarian's face, and he's like, "Oh shit!" And all of a sudden, we switch to John Moxley. And Kingston go into the elite's locker room, right? Yeah. And you're waiting for this moment to see Christopher Daniels and Kazarian. And all of a sudden, you get it after the commercial break. Hey, yo, I posted the picture in the chat. In the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it was like a oh, five-second thing, dude. That is nasty. That is very nasty. Damn. I don't know. Maybe you're right, Kyle. Maybe I was just seeing things because <laughs> yeah, that looks right? fucked. Yeah. Damn. And you can see where. Above his eye, where it was. But this is what AEW needs to get better at: time management. Why? Why? What do you mean? Well, it's just like I said, the Kazarian thing, and you sh you should have been able to see on that program right after that match the whole length of what was going on. Right. But instead, yeah. we get Eddie Kingston and John Moxley that didn't even pertain. I mean, yeah, they're an elite, but still, it didn't even pertain to this tag match at all. I don't yeah. care. But and then. All of a sudden, we get a five-second clip of them hugging after the commercial break. Right. Yeah. Like, dude, that's not how you do this. Oh, uh, they better give them something next week. I hope so. That so was actually, bad. I, I heard an interesting, and I don't know how true it is, so I want to bounce it off of you guys and see if you've heard anything, that this actually might not be the end of SCU. Apparently, they, they might show up in, t uh, in Impact and oh, wow. continue to be the tag team. So that's how they're going to dance around. That'd be interesting. Right? I mean, they both have a huge history and impact, so I, I feel like that would be actually yeah. pretty All right, well, let's cool. go on to the next thing that I'm mad about. What? <laughs> There's no reason at all in fucking hell why Eddie Kingston and John Moxley get a title shot. They're undefeated as the tag team. Yeah. Did you look at the rankings? Did you not see the rankings, bro? I'm going to say this right now. AEW does not know how to book tag teams. Does oh. not know. That's bullshit. That's bullshit? Yeah. Then why are we putting singles competitors together when we have a mass amount of tag teams? That deserve the spot. Deserve the spot. Oh my gosh. You wanna not see, two uh, guys that are singles guys. Just because you fucked up at the end of the pay-per-view, the guys got to stick around. You want to see Jurassic Express against... Cigarette uh, time. Uh, that shit's all wrong. No, I'd like to see Private Party versus Young Bucks. Jimmy I'd like Havoc to see Varsity Blondes <laughs> versus Young Bucks. I'd like to see... You, you get Varsity Blondes and Young Bucks next week. Yeah, man. You get it on free TV. Yeah. But we know who's going to win, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we know we don't. Yeah, dude, get out of here, Brian. There's a referee. It's going to be called evenly down the middle. I think mm. that... Well, That's just like saying Kenny Omega's not going to win that triple threat match. We, we don't serious know. guys? Yes, we fuck. We don't know. We don't know. Hey, you know, I'm looking at this fucking picture of Daniels that you sent. And yeah. I mean, there's been, there was, so that happened, and then OC got legit knocked out. Yeah, if you go back and watch. <laughs> like, uh, that's OC's fault. No. Uh, go back and watch uh, a Pac super kicks him, and it, it actually connected, and yep. yeah, he knocked unconscious. I thought, OC. It, was the, I thought it was the power bomb. No, it was the super no. kick. OC, OC leaned in, bro. You can see it. Yeah. Well, they both kind of leaned in. He got his bell wrong. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I thought it was the shotgun drop kick, but I guess I was wrong. So. Yeah. Huh. But uh, he's pretty banged up too. Uh, 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 I don't know if I t uh, it hadn't been announced yet, but uh, there was supposed to be a trios match next week between Death Triangle and OC and Best Friends, mm -hmm. but uh, OC and Kenny. Uh, are being told not to take any bumps till double or nothing. So, wait, why Kenny? I don't know. Huh. I, I think he may still be hurt. He may be still be hurt from the uh, maybe the Red Swan match, maybe. Uh, or, yeah. yeah. And Impact. You, like you, you were ready to say something. Well, I was ready to say something about Impact oh. and how it's just really bad. How he's just getting trios matches in pay per views. Where, for Impact? 
Yeah, he's in a trios match for the next pay per view. Yeah. So why is that bad? He's a champion. He has two. Oh, he's a champion. That's true. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Hey, this OC Pac and Kenny match. This will be the first triple threat for the world championship. I'm not crazy about triple threats. Yeah, me either. I like I like three way dances. How they did it in ECW, where it was like elimination. So like. First guy, you know, first guy get pinned, and then it, then it just becomes a one on one. I, I feel like that makes way more sense. I just I don't feel this triple threat match, guys. Do you? Do you feel like? Do you it's, feel it's this? It's intriguing. It's kind of cool. I think it's gonna be fun having OC having to, and I mean he's essentially really like the only baby face. I feel like. But Pac, Pac but, but really, we have to him. think about what's really gonna happen. Can the triple win? threat match, no rules. How do you think uh, Kenny's gonna win? Good brothers. Gonna well, yeah, win. there's gonna be a whole ton of fucking magic killer. Games. Right. Plus, he could uh, probably trend. I'm gonna go get another coffee. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Do your thing, man. I don't know. So wait, have you been keeping up with Impact at all? Have you been watching Impact? No. Huh? Me neither. <laughs> when's uh, when's their next uh, next pay per view? Any idea? I have no idea. I have no idea. I think what is it? It's not under siege. No. Yeah. Sound, it is Under Siege? Yeah, Under Siege, yeah. Why do all their pay-per-views sound like Steven Seagal movies? There's that, and then what was the other one? The one they just had. Uh, fuck. Hard to Kill. Yeah. That's a fucking Steven Seagal movie, too. Is it really? Almost certain. I'm well, almost positive. So is Impact just naming their, I don't know. their pay-per-views that are Steven Seagal movies? I don't know. I'm going to look at Steven Seagal's nice. Slammiversary or <laughs> Bound for Glory. <laughs> that actually kind of sounds yeah. bound to, or no, Hard Justice. That even hard sounds justice, like it could be yeah. a fucking Steven Seagal movie. Oh, yeah. God. Uh, a, a, a lockdown. <laughs> it turns right? Out, turns Holy out shit. T yeah. I think we're it turns out TNA is just a Steven Seagal fan. <laughs> or maybe it's just Steven Seagal behind the whole thing. He was actually the higher Steven power. Steven Seagal the is time. the higher power of TNA the entire time. <laughs> oh, God. Um, all right. Let's talk about one of the things that was actually kind of cool. Uh, I mean, this was, it, it overall was a pretty good episode, but one of the bigger things that happened, uh, obviously, was the whole John Moxley versus Eiji Nagata, uh, which opened the show, which I thought was a great move by uh, AEW. Um, but what did, what did you think of the match itself, Kyle? Are, are you a big nagata fan at all have you uh because i know you, you keep up with new japan but uh, not not really not a nagata what about wcw i mean he's been on fucking I, TNT I didn't forever. Watch WCW. Oh, okay yeah. uh i thought the match itself was okay i thought it was nagata looked a little i mean he looked a little slow but what he was fucking I mean, 52 years old so what, yeah. do, you, what do you expect <laughs> they said he wanted to wrestle till he was 70 holy shit <laughs> yeah all right, That's boys. So what cool. are we talking about? We are talking about Yuji Nagata. We're talking about uh, wild thing. Okay. Yeah. Talking about wild thing. Really um, wish they would have got more time. It's the only thing I have for that. I mean, what they got the opening match. It was a fun match about, what, for what it was. I love that they put New Japan seven. rules. Yeah. I loved it. I love that. It was fifteen cool minutes less than that, Brian. Twelve. We'll go around there. We'll go around twelve. I, think I mean, it, it, it was what it was. <laughs> there was no way in hell Mox was going to lose. Yeah, Definitely no. didn't deserve an opening spot. I mean, no, I guess... See, it, I disagree. I, I enjoyed that, that it was open match. Yeah. I kind of felt like that tag match probably should have been it. Tag match for... No. Dude, they, uh, always, just, they always open on tag championship matches. No, always no. did. Well, that wasn't a tag championship match, bro. Mm -mm. Yeah, it was. Oh, well, oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. What? Yeah, it was. You're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. No, but, uh, see, I, I like that they put Nagata there. Uh, the match itself. Oh, this is what I wanted to say before. Talking about how SCU didn't get the proper time after their match. I mean, they gave Nagata plenty. I, I appreciate yeah. the fact that they did that with Nagata and Moxley, how they got down on both. You know, they both bowed to each other. I thought that was very cool. Um, I don't know. I want, I want to see them do this more often. Like, who's to say, MJ, that they can't do more matches with New Japan stars? And, like, do you think we'll ever see, I don't know, say Switchblade or a Jay White or sorts opening uh, opening AEW? Probably not. You don't think so? Not He'll a probably... good fit. He can't, can't cuss. It's like part of his MO. Well, we can have him in uh, like a nice like six minute match against Michael Nakazawa. Uh, <laughs> a, nice, a nice comedy spot. Speaking of cussing, did anyone catch Kenny almost say motherfucker but then no. he called himself well, can yeah. we talk about something else about Kenny? What's up with his promos? Why is he 
Why is he cutting shit promos all of a sudden? Because he that's what he does. He he. Mm, he Blood and guts. That he was he fucked a, up. <laughs> he tries to be a an anime villain. But yeah, what? This isn't New <laughs> Japan. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm saying blood and guts. He that promo was. I don't know what the fuck he was trying to get at there. Mm. But but yeah, if you go back and watch uh, the Kenny thing, you can mm. see him uh, almost say motherfucker, and then he stops and and continues on. <laughs> My favorite part was was uh, heel tunnel, heel tunnel, Don. Yeah. Yeah. I also like. Uh... The, wait, was it this episode or was it last week? But, when Nakazawa was wearing all the when he was wearing the belts. Was it? That was that was blood and guts. Week, that was blood yeah. and guts, right? Because I don't know yeah. if you guys saw on Impact, Kenny was wearing all of them. He was like he had him up to his fucking like neck. Yeah, I think because he was like kind of trolling everyone. At those you think? Well, we had because you know see what happened. Bully Ray called him out right. and said that they were disrespected. In Impact should feel right. disrespected for having the titles on Nakazawa. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason why you're not there, Bully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, don't piss off bully, bro. But uh, what was it? Uh, I, I like that whenever he uh, uh, Don said, "All right, well, back to Winnipeg we go." But when well, I back to Winnipeg, Kenny lives in Florida though, so no. <laughs> it's they're, the, odd. they're the evil Canadians. Yeah. K fape uh, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously, brother. Uh, speaking of, I guess we can move on and talk about uh, us versus them or doing more of a national nationalistic. Is that a word? Nationalistic uh, uh, type of? Yeah. Yes, you know where I'm going. Oh, we're going with that. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah. on this episode, of course, you guys saw the promo that Cody cut. Uh, it's been getting a lot of... Uh, let, me, let me button up real quick before we talk about this one. Not really, it's not really praise, but... Um, so they're setting up a feud with Cody and Anthony Jojo. Well, they are in a feud, I guess, but they're setting up a match uh, between the two of them. And uh, Cody cut this promo on this past episode of Dynamite that a lot. No, of wait. Were for the record, about. Yes. for the record, it was a great promo. As always, I'm not going to say that. The intensity and how he put it together and how he made people, how he's looking at people and everything. Yes. yes. It's just there's just one part about it that I was just like, hey, what? Maybe what don't the say fuck? That. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Like I understand, bro. He's he's going into this new life. It's a new life having this having a child like this. I understand that, but well, what's how the did, he, did he did he say mixed princess? Is that what he said, Kyle? Or did he say black princess? I think he said black. Black. Princess. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Your baby's not black, bro. And he also it's said mixed. black. Black wife. Black wife. It's just the way he worded it and the way he kind of the way he, he delivered he, it. He, he, it was, it was more like cringe. He was throwing it in. The, in people's faces. In people's... Oh, exactly. Yeah, my wife's black. No, we're not going to say that he meant to do that. Right, But yeah. it... That That's promo kind of came, came off. off as, hey, I got a mixed child. You don't... I mean, obviously, he, it's not he, what he's fucking it, it, it saying. It was basically like right. one of those... It was basically like a, oh, I'm not racist. My, <laughs> my wife's black. You know what it... <laughs> <laughs> how, how I took it is... It was like a promo, and he was like heel last week, and all of a sudden he's turning face. This, you know what I mean? That's what kind of promo it kind of gave off to me. It wasn't really a... Look. I think he thought too much about it. That's what I think. <laughs> the, the memes that's come out of his in fire, though. It's, yeah, they, they, they've been really good. Also, <laughs> what what is Cody... So is, do you think Cody is going to... Oh, also, we didn't mention... By the way, Cody is going to be going by the American Dream. That's what he. That's what, what the, yeah. the big announcement. The whole he better wear the black tights. He better yes, wear the black exactly. tights. Exactly. Is he going to be the, wearing the black tight? Or he's not going to wear the, the polka dot. That no, was with the, the CR. The, the CR on the side. right. Yeah, he's got <laughs> CR with a little red script or maybe yellow or. Well, no, I think what's going to come out. He's going to come out with his little the American. You know the flag tights he always used to wear. That's you why think I think so? he's going to come out. Yeah, that's the American Dream. It's the American uh, Dream. Man. Hmm. I was thinking he was going to announce that he was going to get another neck tattoo. Yeah, I had right. double or nothing. Yeah, that well, can I tell you this, too? Yes. that And it's weird, too, because uh, I'm going to shout out to Alex. He actually watched his promo, and he actually liked it. And this is why he liked it, because he said it really did remind him of Dusty Rhodes' promo, and no one trying to copy it. It was just like, it was like he said, Dusty yeah. used to be all over the place. And, yes, Cody was all over the place. And I was like, you know what? You kind of, except for the... African-American thing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I just... 
it was just weird. Do now I'm gonna tell. I'm well, before you go, I'm gonna tell yeah. people. Yes, I do have African American family, but it's weird. <laughs> yeah. Just weird how he it's, said it. it. Yeah, it's because of the transition. He was like, uh, "Oh, and this year, uh, blacks and whites were segregated, and now this year, my black wife is gonna give birth." To- <laughs> it's like, why you know what's you funny? Say that. You know what's funny? Anthony Gogo is mixed. Yeah. <laughs> True. It's Great like, point. Th- dude, it, it, the whole thing's weird. Hopefully, Anthony will come out there and just punch him in the gut and end it. No, I swear to God, if Cody wins, I'm Cody's gonna, gonna Cody's gonna win. Cody's gonna win. Dude, there's no way Cody's gonna lose, Kyle. We'll, we'll, we'll do it predictions. It wouldn't make any fucking sense. Like, well, he doesn't need to win. I just think this whole thing feels just very dated. Like doing like a United States versus it is inter- it's fucking dumb. any kind of foreign country. Well, uh, he already did that. Well, to <laughs> me, and I, I actually uh, mentioned this to Alex too, is that Ale- uh, Cody really goes in the fuse without any pieces. Really, it just happens. Yeah, they just kind of they're just kind of yeah there, right. Just just happens. Yeah, I mean this one. Well, this one kind of makes sense because yes, because of QT, thing, but like they QT. already had the fucking match. Right. Yeah. Well, if Cody Which I call Kodoko, it, by the way. After he's it. already beat QT, then what is the fucking point of the factory? Right, you should be going through the henchmen done. first to get to QT. And what's up with this... I almost said gold dust. <laughs> what's up with this dust? What happened with that? What? I don't know. Um, I thought he was going to face Nick Camarado and shit. Yeah. And it didn't happen. Oh, yeah. Because remember he broke the chair and he's like... Oh, I returned, right. but I'm so amazed at this guy that I just broke a chair over. It's like, yeah. dude. D- 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 I feel like Dustin and QT should have been like a blood feud because they were tag partners. Yeah, that's that's why I thought this was going. I don't know. There, I mean, it, 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 if if Cody beats a go go, then they ruined the factory already. Well, my thing isn't this a go go's second match only. Mm, yeah, I know he's had one on. Was it Dynamite or Dark? Yeah, dynamite. Dynamite. Where he, dynamite, where he hit the dude yeah. in the stomach and the ref right, called that it. Like, that. that's the most stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I could pin him. He, he pin. Even, but, pin. But, but he could pin, but even though I pin him, count to ten, but he didn't. He just immediately, yeah, he okay, that's so, it. So when he does it to Mox, he's just going to count Mox out because he's, oh, my stomach hurts. That's what the guy did when he punched him. Oh, my well, stomach I, hurts. I think, was, he's I think like, it was more of a, he can't continue. I think that's what they were going after. I, I, I just, I that's. really translated. Yeah. But, but but what is he gonna do it to Cody and then Cody's gonna be fine? He's gonna be he's gonna be the the, the second person he does it to is gonna be able to get out of it. Then I bet you. What if they're gonna do is he's gonna have a steel plate under his shirt and a go is gonna punch that I and then swear hurt his to God. <laughs> do like a real old school. Thing. It would be dumb. Would and be then so he dumb. strips it off. I quit. It's his weight belt. <laughs> yeah, it's his, it's a fucking metal weight belt that he has. If Cody fucking wear, it, uh, it's gonna be. Oh my God. If yeah. no one if no one understood why we said that, Bret Hart Goldberg. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah, I thought for sure Cody would lose to QT because I did too, man. Because I, I QT had already won. And what? And I said to myself, I'm like, oh, Gogo is just gonna punch him in the stomach. That's all that's gonna happen. <laughs> I know stuff like that. It's like it's that that kind of move, and even Jericho's uh, uh, Judas effect. It's like, why don't you just do that all the time? Like, you know what's I, funny? I, I, Anthony Gogo's blind, seventy eight percent. I don't think yeah, he'd be able to hit you straight in the stomach. <laughs> You think it should be like you know, it should miss or something? I don't know. I'm that's just, not nice. You're, that's not nice. Actually. He's already well, he's yeah. already put out his wrestling career is on borrowed time. So oh, that's true. That's kind of a bad thing to let people know. But that's true. I would be com- man. Well, I'm, I'm just saying the company's trying to bump you up, and you're saying borrowed yeah. time. Yeah, right. I know. That I mean, good. <laughs> Darby's been saying for years that he doesn't plan on wrestling long. Yeah, he so. said he he said it's not like he's not really. He doesn't feel like he's gonna. Yeah. Be one of those guys. What do you guys want to talk about? Let me guess. Um, Let me ask you. You wanted to talk about how uh, my girl Britt Baker is going to win the championship soon. That's actually not what I want to talk about, but we can talk about that. Yeah. 
we can talk about that. I think it's time. Um, that, uh, uh, do you oh, think it's happening, Kyle? Do you think she's actually going to Oh, 100% be, uh, fucking percent. Well, you already know what this is all setting up. What? What? Brit's going to be... No, Brit's, Brit's going to... Well, no, no. Brit's going to be, you know, Sheeta. Mm -hmm. And then Thunder Rose is going to come and face Baker. You I don't know who's so? going to be... I, well, yeah, there are... I mean, think about it. Every time they talk to Brit, she, there's always a Thunder mention. Always. Yeah, but you think they're going to do it that quick and, uh, as soon as... Well, no, not that. I'm just saying that's really? how the... That's yeah. how it's gonna line up, because they have to have. Well, her and Brits. I even had a, a sanctioned match yet, right? No. no there not, we go. Not, so not there you go. No. I did see an interesting thing on uh, what NWA is doing. Cause I don't. I don't really watch that all often, yeah. actually, ever. But I think they, they they they're doing something with Thunder where she if she loses a match there, she's not gonna be able to like take like go elsewhere with the belt. It's weird, like, cause I, I guess they're doing an angle where like the women are pissed that she's taking the belt and going elsewhere, and they're, they're like they they they're just sitting there with like their fucking. But, but wait a minute. But Ooh, she's I not did. the champion though. Exactly. But I don't know why they're doing that. The champion is Serena Deeb. Serena Deeb. And Serena's been going around everywhere anyway. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, they're, maybe, they're, maybe they're just literally going to be on, literally going to be on Dynamite next week. Then maybe they're just doing that with Thunder. I know they're doing an angle where it's something like that where she she can't go to different companies. It's fucking weird. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. Um, I mean, it's kind of weird because she has her own company. So I was going to say, she has Mission Pro, right? Yeah. I mean, everybody knows she's going to sign the AEW when right. she can. Oh, and uh, I have... Let's hear about this news. What? I guess Lena Vega is going back to yeah, the World Wrestling Entertainment. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Yeah. Money I don't lie to AEW was to signing her. I don't know. I don't even think they were close. I really do not think they were that close. I wonder what happened. Uh, I'll tell you though that Tony doesn't care about the women. <laughs> you know, if she was going, if she's going back, you know, that's what you want to do. Good for her. But if any news comes out that she's unhappy or stuff, I'm not going to feel bad for her because right. you, you were out and then you went immediately back. Right. Well, it's also hard that her husband is also yeah. working there too. So I'm sure that played a, a thing into it also. Oh. Uh, was another thing. Uh, oh, I don't know if y'all saw, but uh, I don't know how close they are, but Andrade is in talks with with AEW. Well, that makes sense because yep. he's in AAA now, so. Right. Oh. He's. By the way, I legitly believe this. Andrade is, is going to dethrone Kenny. Has he to. Ha he has to. Has to. If Kenny is still the champion there, I I will send hate mail <laughs> <laughs> to Triple <laughs> A. <AAA. laughs> MJ's gonna write a letter. Yeah, I'm like I said this before, man. <laughs> Triple A loves Kenny Omega, and he's never there. They I'm love kidding. him, dude. Fans love him, like love huh. Kenny Omega. It's so weird. No, tell you, if you make dethrone Kenny, it better be Andrade or Laredo. Yeah, or there was even talks of Phoenix dethroning him, but El Dandy or. What about El Jeffy? Uh, El, uh, El Je El Jeffy. I think Jeff the Clown should win. I think he should too. <laughs> or Psycho Clown. <laughs> One Psycho of them. Clown. Why are there so many clowns in AAA? It's fucking great. It's, it's their thing, man. I love it. Dude, I, I'm telling you, I'll have to find out which which one it was and go back and look. I saw one of them one of them clowns kidnap a fucking kid. On, oh my God. on on that show, like he really walked out to the crowd and grabbed that kid and walked to the back. And I, I was sitting there watching that, and I was like, "Um, is anyone gonna acknowledge yeah. that that clown just kidnapped that kid?" <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love AAA though. It's such a blast to watch. It really is, and Federation Wrestling is gonna be a very big thing too. What about uh, you guys? Don't watch CMLL? Yeah, all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's oh. just not. It's not. Regulated as regular, are y'all uh, uh, wrestling companies? Yeah. Are y'all as excited uh, as me about uh, there being a, a stadium stampede at Double or Nothing? No, dude, I, I, I fucking I, I I was so happy when that got announced. I love that. I match. I just well that's true, <laughs> but I think it's too soon. I think to have another great. one to have another one anyway. Hmm. Well, they did the last one around. Super the stipulation Bowl. is yeah. stupid. We can and, all agree. And there's also going to be a, a... Is there going to be a, another ladder match for a Casino Battle World? Or right. Well, can we talk match, about this, too? Santana's match. detained? How racist is that? 
Florida, yeah. detain. Hmm. Race. <laughs> for, for stabbing him. And, and, then, stabbing and, him. And, and, and then Ortiz was like, he should have stabbed you in the eye and scooped it out. Now, at first, I thought they said AEW, like, did that to him. But then I heard that yeah. that's the one that did. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just a weird. That's that's a weird way to write someone off a show for the night. Yeah, it is pretty yeah. strange. And uh, no one, can, no one can tell me that they didn't see Jericho was gonna come out of the back of that thing. Dude, I, I saw him happen. in the back. You can see him moving around the back. Like, well, there's Jericho in the back right there. <laughs> and can we talk about how they kind of recycled this idea? Yeah, I, this is oh, another thing, man. I don't the, get uh, it. The, hose the Stone the, Cold the bubbly. And, and Kurt Angle. Like, like I said in the group chat, I'll reiterate it. It's like they watch old WWF and WCW and say, you know what? We're going to do it like that, but we're just going to put a little bubbly in there, and then we're going to have you shoot this. But, but it's, it's going to be, be completely quite, different. Completely be, different, though. It's completely different. 82% <laughs> just as good. It was pretty Maybe good, less. Though. And can we understand how unsafe it was with the MJF with the microphone after being wet? I was like, is he just going to get shocked? And Sammy was putting it towards the... You know, all the electrical stuff I'm like, dude, this is actually not very safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you though, best shot of the night was Christopher Daniels dropping blood on the Jordans. That was yeah, symbolic that, as that, that shit. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Man, uh, I, I don't know. I guess, we're missing something. We're I missing guess a to match. Close it out. We can talk about. Oh, well, the, let's. One more thing. The sad news from yesterday. Oh well, yeah, well, yeah, one more thing. Dynamite needs to stop putting squash matches on the fucking program. You have another program for those. Well, I don't need to see Thunder Rosa squash someone. It's not what I want. No, I did. You I, like the, you really I like want to see actually, actual women's matches, Kyle. I don't mind, like, well, well uh, unless they change it, like, this hasn't been announced, but there are two women's matches next week. Like, the, I'm they, just saying. They announced Red Velvet and uh, Serena Deeb, but... Uh, Okay. I know for a fact Sheeta is facing Rebel next week. Well, this well. this is my thing is that you have a whole full card of these great ass matches that's happening, and you have us a women's squash match. Yeah. You only have time for a women's squash match and a Britt Baker poem, nothing else. Oh, they're trying to push uh, Thunder. Uh, with uh, a squash match? Yeah. Nah. I can talk about how uh, a <laughs> double or nothing. They're basically doing their own form of Starcast. They're doing Fan Fest. Well, yeah, people thought that that's going to replace Starcast, Starcast, it, or what is it? It probably is. Yeah. Starcast was Conrad. Yeah. Conrad Thompson. And then, the, oh, and also, this is this is fucking great. So the night before that, that Friday is Dynamite, and it's live at ten o'clock at night. So people are going to be there from ten to midnight. What? The, the, that's going to be awesome. I love yeah, late because, night wrestling shows, but, dude. But love because, it. Uh, the, the NBA. The playoffs, uh, they can't do it Wednesday, so they had to move it to uh, Friday night, uh, and it's going to be at 10 o'clock. Wow. That's, and it's that, live. It's not cool. a taped show. That's yeah, cool. Because be next week is taped, but uh, the next week is live. Huh. So they're doing Dynamite Live, and then Fan Fest Saturday, and then Double or Nothing Sunday. Mm. Oh. Oh, uh... Can I ask a whole, question? Whole Gear is Saturday, November 6th, and... Right now is supposed to be in St. Louis, Missouri. Quick little thought: Where the fuck's Butcher and Blade at? Butcher had surgery on something, didn't he? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was okay. wondering what had, what surgery Butcher had. I got, I got a little worried there for a minute. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I saw but him I know in the hospital. Had, yeah, and I was like, I think it's oh, something shit. that he scheduled yeah. though. I don't think it's. Yeah, and are we just are we just scrapping this Matt Hardy thing? Because I've not seen him in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good hey. question. Did you did y'all see what Matt Hardy tweeted the other day? Jeff got like fucking destroyed by Jinder Mahal on TV, yeah. and then Jeff posted a picture of him and of him hugging Jeff with the WWE Championship. I think it was on like main event too. I don't even think it was on like. Yeah. Or I think it was. I think he, he was on. Yeah. TV, yeah. They, but they had a match on, on, on main, main event, event as well. Yeah. Right. Uh, no, well, I think apparently he signed a multi-year contract, but yeah, he's not. Uh, I ain't no way in hell they're gonna release him. No, because um, they know exactly where he'll go. Yeah, yeah right. impact. No, I'm just kidding. Impact. <laughs> yeah. Um, and before we wrap it up and get into plugs, uh, we do have to. We should say something about New Jack, right? Uh, the untimely passing of New Jack. He's had nothing to do with AEW, of course, but he was a uh, one of a kind uh, in. Uh, a business where it's like it's very hard to do, right? Um, MJ, what was your what's your favorite New Jack memory? Doesn't have to be a match. 
just New Jack memory. New, me New Jack memory? Him almost killing that fucking kid. Loved it. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my god. Yeah. That, that's what he's famous for. I mean... <laughs> another one is him stabbing that one dude. I just like him stabbing people. Just oh, Gypsy fun. Joe? Yeah, no. Yeah. The other... The, wait, is that the red-headed guy? Okay, that's yeah. That's the old, that the old guy, right? Oh, oh no, oh, no, no. no. Wow. I know who you're talking about. Okay, yes. Yeah, you know who I'm you're talking right. about. Yes. No, yes, Gypsy yes. Joe, even Jack thought that was kind of fucked up. He just miscommunication. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, what about you, Kyle? Do you have a favorite uh, New Jack moment? Were you, were you a fan of New Jack at all? Uh, I I never, besides, like, the the seven MJ was talking about where he almost killed the kid. Uh, yeah. I, that's the only thing I've ever seen of him. I've always heard of him, but I never really watched him. I didn't have you watch. seen the, uh, I mean, you have you seen the uh, Beyond, not Beyond. The yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I saw Dark, Dark Side, Side of the, the Ring. Ring. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. This like, guy. Yeah. Well, I actually, I was thinking of Beyond the Mat because there is a scene, he's in yeah. the movie, and the, the whole thing with him uh, going out for the acting role, I thought that yeah, was dude. fucking <laughs> insane, but yeah. still it's, awesome. Like, I just. Oh, uh, dude. It's fucking Trapped too is just uh, apparently a heart attack last, uh, just yesterday. Yep. Just out of nowhere. Right. Hey, dude. Got on. People got to understand, man. Where he's what 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 generation he came from, what he's been doing. Right. It's just the way of the world, dude. It's just great that he got to go away and, dude. He got a lot of love, like m the most people. Like Tony Atlas could only wish he'd get that much love. Right. The motherfucker's right. still alive, like. Yeah. But yeah, dude. It's just, just what it is. Tragic thing, and it's a bummer. It, it is a bummer. Very but, much. Uh, everybody, go go out and watch. A new Jack match, uh, whether it's ECW, XPW, uh, shit, I don't know. But, yes. He was one of a kind, for he sure. He definitely was one of a kind. Um, with that said, uh, we are going to have to wrap things up a little bit early, uh, but we wanted to get a recording in. And, uh, yes, I mentioned earlier in the show, the show is brought to you by the AEW All Elite Wrestling Discussion Facebook group. Go join the Facebook group. Uh, what are we at now? Is it like 20? How many? How many people are in it now? 17K. Seven, a little 17, over 17K. 17. Yeah. Um, but it's a private group, so you don't have to deal with any of the fucking trolls or anything. It's a good It's a good place to just unless talk to other... A, uh, oh. Yeah, unless it's Kyle or MJ. They're both kind of asshole. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, join the group. It's a good group for uh, everything all elite. Um, and also go subscribe to a, uh, Mark That Wrestling Podcast on, uh, on YouTube and wherever you listen to your... Uh, to your uh, your podcasts, uh, th those are all. The oh, I do have one more plug. Uh, GSW Catalyst, May twenty second. Uh, it's live on Fight TV. Uh, you can also tickets are available on Eventbrite as well. Uh, it's in Ridge Field Park, New Jersey. Uh, main event is Chris Dickinson versus Alex Hammerstone. Plus, we have a women's tournament. Uh, the whole card is just bonkers. I will be there. I will be ring announcing. Um, I don't. Th are either of you guys going to be able to come? I know. I know it was kind of floated around there. I don't you know, know yet. <clears throat> I don't you know, know yet. yet. I don't okay, know still, yet. Still trying to make it happen. I like it. What about you, MJ? You have any uh, any plugs? You got? Eight yeah, ones, right? I do. I got plugs oh, right here. Shit. I got fucking plugs, baby. You even have props. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh. Oh. So there's likes on Facebook, and you can just click them or tap them on your phone. Uh -huh. And I have pages that accumulate those likes. I didn't post this week because I felt like it was going to be a good dynamite, and I was wrong. So I want to plug a Twitch channel, actually. Okay. The Von Doom Twitch channel. Uh -uh. He makes he makes rap music and he plays a lot of Square Enix games. I watch them almost all the time. I just want to plug him in that. Uh, okay. I also want to plug uh, WWE. What? what? WWE. Oh, wrong podcast, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, second hour of SmackDown. I also want to plug the second hour of SmackDown. Thank you. <laughs> uh. Carmen Childers, AV Tech. That's not my plug. Oh yeah, sorry. My bad. Carmen Childers, AV Tech and Drugs. No! What? Not dr I don't know why. Stop saying that, man. If you got, if y'all, he, he goes baseball games. If you want to do drugs at baseball games, if you oh want to do God. drugs at wrestling shows, <laughs> if you want to do drugs in the impact zone, <laughs> do that. And uh, as always, my last plug is going to be the wrestling world. 
is the is probably one of the greatest things in my life. Except for Very all cool. that, you know, molesting bullshit. But what? The <laughs> What? What? Hey, man! What happened last year? You know what I mean? I'm just oh, saying. Oh my god! I'm just saying. I, I can't. I can't sugarcoat it. But yeah, the wrestling world is very fucking great. I love wrestling. It saves lives. I can guarantee it does that. So, and for my last plug, I'm not Thunder Rosa. <laughs> uh, still, we will accept your money. Though. Still, from yesterday, I got someone that messaged me. I'm not Thunder Rosa. It's not Thunder Rosa. People. If I was, no. Wouldn't be on Facebook. You are Lightning Rosa. Uh, what about you, Kyle? You got any plugs? Oh, of course. Of uh, course you do. You know, as usual, join the AW All Elite Wrestling Discussion Facebook group. Uh, continue listening to Marked Out Wrestling. Uh, as my usual plug, uh, make sure you check out New South Pro Wrestling. Uh, yes. We have uh, a live show every, a weekly show every Tuesday on IWTV called Action Clash. Uh, coming up, June 5th, there is a show at in Hartsville, Alabama at the Spartan Civic Center. And it's a pretty big show because my TNA podcast willed into existence a match that is going to happen uh, there because we did an interview with Shug D asking him what his favorite TNA moment was and or like who if he could wrestle anybody from TNA, who would it be? And he wanted to wrestle Shark Boy, and we tweeted it out. And it got a lot of attractions, and now Shark Boy is coming to New South June fifth, <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> and so so, so, so the, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, that's great. Oh yeah, that's good old cool. Shark Boy. <laughs> Give me a show. But, uh, yeah. Well, you know th th that and uh, one more thing I want to add. Uh, I just saw this screenshot, and it was the greatest thing ever. Uh, this is from April twenty seventh of this year. Mm -hmm. A page called Pro Wrestling Stories posted an article saying uh, uh, it was it was about the, the, the mass transit incident with New mm -hmm. Jack, and it said the moment that changed ECW history. And New Jack himself, top comment said, "Yeah, I did it." And like OJ, I got away with it. Oh my! God. <laughs> He's out of his mind. Fucking New Jack. In a good way. Do you, do you regret what you did to him? Hell no, I don't fucking regret. <laughs> Should have been in the ring. Should have been right. in the ring. <laughs> Shoot, I'm gonna go watch Dark Side right, right after. That's this. why, like, dude, that's no. If you put out like the meme I put out, no one's gonna say shit because New Jack would have done that shit too. Right. <clears throat> that's why I like about this shit, cause, dude, you don't it, ever it get that. Real. It was real, man. Yeah. And to, to close this off, we'll say that uh, Double or Nothing is gonna be D M D. Ah, uh, <laughs> true. Alrighty, folks. Uh. We're going to get out of here. Um, it's always a blast talking wrestling with you guys. Um, man. Man. Yeah, just go go out and watch a fucking New Jack match, man. I can't. I, I'm still bummed out over it. But um, thank you for listening. We will be back next week. Um, please like and subscribe and all that fucking jazz, too. So uh, Don't forget to love your lord and savior, the new never open weight champion, Jay White. That, too. Yeah. Breathe your switchblade. Yeah. And uh, I, think that's all, uh, I think that's all I got. You got... What, uh, what do you want? Were we doing the thing? Yeah, we have to. We've got to do you, the thing. Even though Kenny's a heel, but it doesn't matter. We still have to do the thing. He doesn't even do the thing anymore either. It's kind of weird how they straight away, but. Well, now yeah, it's, it's our thing. It was his. Now it's ours. Yeah. Now it's knock, 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 yeah. knock, knock us out. That's how we're ending. No, no we're gonna no. end it with uh, love that Dan Housen. Join the <laughs> Dan Housen <laughs> Facebook uh, yeah. uh, fan page, fan group called Fan House Dan Housen. Yes, we're nice almost at two thousand members. Uh, yes, yes. Dan Housen himself has yes, yes, has uh, yes, and Jay, Dan Housen <laughs> himself has thanked me personally when I saw him at New South for the group. Uh, Ah, very nice, very evil. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. He, it's a great group. His dad's a part it of it. Is. His dad actually does giveaways of. He gets uh, Dan Housen to sign pictures when he sees them, and he does giveaways in the group for. Yeah, it. I think he did one yesterday. Actually, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah he did two. Super him. cool. Yeah, super. All right. Yeah. Well, it's a great group. Love it. Love that Dan Housen. Love that Dan Housen. Yeah. Love that Dan Housen. All righty. Uh, don't we have to? Do the thing. Do the fucking thing, Kyle. Jesus, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for listening, and it comes time to uh, bid you adieu. Goodbye. Good night. Bang. Yeah.
fuck do you think this is, man? Love that Dan Housen. Good night, Ben. I'll catch you on the flip side. Marked Out Podcast is produced and edited by You Record Studios and from Charlotte, North Carolina. Subscribe, follow, and listen to us live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook Live. Download the podcast by following us at podbean.com or subscribe on iTunes and Apple Podcasts. While you're there, go ahead and give us an honest and fair review and rating. Finally, if you have enjoyed our product and would like to see us grow, please donate to us by visiting the donation link below our live video, or you can donate via Venmo and Cash App at the handle RavePro. That's R-A-V-E-P-R-O. You're listening to the Electronic Media Collective Podcast Network. Yeah, it's a mouthful. For more great shows, visit electronicmediacollective.com.